quite literally. Two U.S. astronauts are back on solid ground tonight after spending an unexpectedly long stay aboard the International Space Station. Yeah, that's right. Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams spent more than nine months in space. But Christian Benavides has the latest on their journey home. A high-altitude plane caught these first images of the SpaceX Dragon's freefall back to Earth. Parachutes cut at speed before the capsule splashed down at a gentle 15 miles per hour off the coast of Tallahassee, Florida. Back on Earth after nine months in space, NASA astronauts Sonny Williams and Butch Wilbur, along with another U.S. astronaut and a Russian cosmonaut. On behalf of SpaceX, welcome home. Minutes later, the recovery team began arriving at the splashdown zone, followed by a curious pot of dolphins. Brace for capsule lift. The Dragon then hoisted aboard a ship. Some waves, some thumbs up and some smiles. Where the crew cheered as they helped Williams and Wilmore out of the capsule. Ignition. The pair began their mission back in June, launching into space aboard the first human flight for a Boeing Starliner. They made it to the ISS, but the spacecraft developed propulsion problems and for safety, left with no one on board. What was supposed to be an eight day trip became a nine month stay. The duel orbiting the Earth more than 4,500 times. I don't think we're stuck up here. We've got food, we've got clothes. We have a ride home in case anything really bad does happen to the International Space Station. Williams and Wilmore are now undergoing medical evaluations, and NASA says it will be looking closely at how their bodies changed during one of the longest stays aboard the ISS. NASA officials say that extra time enabled Williams to get the spacewalk record for a woman she and Wilmore also put in nearly a thousand hours of research, conducting 150 experiments. And the work we do on the International Space Station benefits the nation, benefits people on Earth, and are the building blocks for going back to the moon and to Mars. They're now on their way to Houston and expected to meet up with their families in a few days for a homecoming more than nine months in the making. Christian Benavides, 2 News, Nevada.